I'm gonna get a staff. I have a great axe. That just seems better. So y'all are it's... gonna get a minor healing potion to make things easy, unless you want something else from this list. Uh, that will work. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna put it in our party potion. stash. But anyway, we're live. We're live oh. streaming live on Twitch. On my channel, messyb20 at twitch.tv.com. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe to stay up to date with everything that goes on in the channel. And to follow us as we play our weekly strength a thousand bi weekly strength of thousands game or our Abomination Vault campaign. And this, our latest offering on the channel, our Pathfinder Society pick up and play games that I'm just randomly going to have. So. Keep your eye out. Keep these out for yeah. those games like today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry that I don't. I'm sorry that I'm not professional like Theo. <laughs> this is a very different kind. Of, this is a very different kind of stream on here. Let me tell you. Um, so to start out, all of our games we have all new players here. Um, except Twangy. Twangy is familiar to this channel, but if you've been watching me on the Gallant Goblins Twitch, make sure you like, follow, and subscribe there for fun gameplay. Um, you'll know these people, so why don't you guys introduce yourselves? And if you have anything to plug, plug that. And then, um, let me get started. How about that? Who wants to go first? Yeah, I'll, I'll go first. Uh, I'm... Uh, I'm Anthony. I'm usually referred to as Twangy B in, in here. I do a lot of foundry stuff, and uh, I don't really like being on social media, but hey, small steps, right? Small steps. And you get to choose who goes next. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead with the uh, the person who is running Rostlon today. All right. Uh, hi, I'm Micah. I am also known as Micah Draws on pretty much every social media there is. Um, I have been playing Pathfinder for years. This is my first time doing Society, though, so that's exciting. Uh, and I draw a lot of um, Path or TTRPG stuff. So if you like that, and I'm guessing you do if you're here, um, give me a follow and check it out. Oh, Who's and next? I have to pick. Uh, let's put Eric in next. Hey, uh, what's going on? My name is uh, Eric. Uh, I live in Houston, Texas. I do improv comedy as one of my hobbies. So I used to doing like stage performance in front of small to medium audience sized audiences. Uh, I've been playing Pathfinder for a good year, maybe ten years now. Maybe uh, this is the first time I've ever played Society though, so I'm excited to be here on the channel. So thanks for having me. Twins. Yeah, uh, we'll go with uh, Glenn next. All right. Hey, I'm Glenn. Uh, I have been playing for a while. I've played Pathfinder since 2008 when it first came out and other RPGs long before that. Uh, this is my second Pathfinder Society game, though. So I'm kind of winning with all you guys. All right. And then... Last but not least. You saved last the best but not for last, least. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm Morgan. Uh, you can find me on uh, Twitter and Blue Sky and Itch as uh, at Morgan Eilish. I make RPGs. I have never played Pathfinder before. I don't know what the rules are, and I have no clue what I'm doing. Yay! Truly the best among us. <laughs> yes. I just oh, remember I need to give you guys these potions. All right. Oh, so, you can do it? Okay. Oh, yeah, if you want to do it, I would love that. I, I got I, mine. I did, too. Let's see here. Yeah, if you guys oh, can awesome. Give yourself your potion. I'll give it to Eric. Let's see. And I think I, I got Morgan. I got Twangy. I, I think I have one. So. Excellent. The other two are in our party themselves. Oh. No, um, not, I put it in your inventory. It. Oh, okay. Oh, I think I gave it to you. I think I gave it to you. I'm not sure. All right. So we'll get started right now. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I'm I'm a little nervous. I hope you guys have fun today. Anyway, so this adventure.
takes place on the south coast of the Isle of Cortos within the inner sea region of Galarian. Along the road from the fishing village of Otari to the metropolis of Absalom. More detail on the Isle, Isle of Cortos can be found starting on page 12 of the Pathfinder Lost Omens World Guide. <laughs> you guys see within this region, within Otari, which you guys will know if you did the trouble. No, this is Troubles in Otari, right? This is Troubles in Otari. No, this is the road from Otari. If you did the Pathfinder Beginner Box, you will know that Otari is a fishing village right outside of Absalom. And you'll be very familiar with that. And you'd be even more familiar with it if you played the Abomination Vaults campaign. But if you didn't, it's a fishing village. It's a small, quaint fishing village next to one of the biggest metropolitan areas in all of the planet. And there's a strange tower in the distance with an eerie blue light. But we won't get into that today. We won't get into that today. If you want to get into that, watch the stream this Thursday. Anyway, you guys see on a message board, Intrepid Travelers Wanted. Please inquire at Galantine Deliveries for an urgent delivery that must set out for Absalom post haste. Reasonable terms, payment upon delivery. Who wants to be first to this little board, this message board, this job board? And who wants to describe their character first for uh, our audience? Kiki will go ahead and then go up to the job board and figure okay, out Kiki, where to go. Tell us, give us, tell us all about Kiki. Who's, who's Kiki? Where's she from? <laughs> So Kiki is, although she's clearly an elf, the way she dresses and the weapons she carries are very unusual for this area. Exotic travelers might recognize these are Tian Sha type weapons and clothing. But she is uh, uh, dressed lightly uh, with uh, the only outstanding feature you notice on her is a very large blue butterfly as part of her leather armor and uh, she always seems to carry a lot of trinkets around bracelets with like one tooth of every animal you could imagine and uh, these uh, different uh, accoutrements that uh, seem to dot all over her body very exotic Ooh, I like, I like let's that. see Who's she? Where's she going? Mm. You're the first one there. You see it. Um, you're part of the Pathfinder Society, right? I, I hold up my, my card. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just hold it up. Wait. Card carrying member. Excellent, excellent. Um, so I'll, 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 if I could go next. Hell yeah, gonna... yeah, yeah, do it. <laughs> Uh, may I ask what what's what's what faction is Kiki from? Oh, now you gotta As make I... me look up stuff. <laughs> oh, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see where I got that. As you look that up, Twangy, Damn. why don't you? Why don't you introduce your character? Or unless yeah. Twang, you already found it. Oh. No, not yet. Keep okay. Going. I'm going to have to Twang, yeah. <laughs> Twang uh, your character. So, I'm not very familiar with Pathfinder lore. So, I just, okay. I just did a quick Google search of what, like, the Asian equivalent is. <laughs> uh, so, uh, you're this individual clad in, like, a hide type armor with like layers and such uh the 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 eyes and skin tone probably give it away as someone from uh Tianjia, the sort of asian equivalent continent in in pathfinder lore uh <laughs> and this this woman car carries like a lot of weapons there's two daggers at her hip she's got like a large spear on her back alongside another like sheathed weapon as well 
And then the, I suppose one of the more prominent things is that there is a katana, uh, a sheathed katana on the other side of her hip, uh, opposite her daggers. And uh, as she sort of goes up to to Kiki, l looking at this board, uh, very quietly, very quietly, I ask, her, "What, <laughs> what, what, what faction do you belong to? You, you seem to have a Pathfinder Society card." Uh, I'm still I had to look on Pathfinder Society to figure out what I uh, what my what her faction is, but we could just say her faction is uh, blank until just you find pick her. one for now, and I'll I'll. <laughs> Uh, I, I I hold up mine, and uh, it has Horizon Hunters uh, on on her card. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that one all about like exploring the unknown and trailblazing and finding paths? <laughs> finding paths and Pathfinder, absolutely. Uh, so as, as uh, oh. I suppose, Kiki's getting getting the card ready uh I, I i ask her are you are you also interested in this in this uh, job as well she gives you a broad smile and says you are the first uh member that i have seen in all my travels in this uh, part of galarian it's so nice to see you it's nice to meet and... you as well yes and i am i, I look around absalom do I see other? Well, there's Shinsha a few Otari people? fishing village. You're out. In, you're in the sticks. I'm in the sticks. Oh, that's right. You're in the yeah. Or maybe I mean people are teleporting like all the time and riding dragons, so maybe. But they're not the most represented people within this land. So it's kind of it's kind of nice to see. Um, it might be nice to see someone from your homeland, or maybe yes, a, a reminder of what you're running away from. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, yes, but uh, I, I thank you for for greeting me with such a warm smile. But I'm, I'm still wondering: are you are you interested in this quest as well? Oh yes, it. Uh... It sounds like it could be interesting. I well, certainly have nothing else better to do. I'm going to. Is it like a sheet of paper? This quest? Do I, yes. Can I take it off the board? Can I take it off the board? And yeah, you can take it off the board. But another person who's walking up right now may not like it, or they may have I don't know feelings. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else walks in. Who walks in next? All right. I will. Oh, go ahead. Um, Aiden is uh kind of small for an orc. Uh, he's um pretty stocky. Um, he has a uh, grayish, uh, tan skin. Um, very small tusks and blue eyes. Uh, he has a lit lantern hanging off of his belt. Um, and he also has a farmer's tan from working outside. Uh, this, this, since pe both two people responded, can I assume the other person also yeah, let's like, do it. approaches yeah. the That makes sense. That makes total sense. Yeah, I'm down. Micah. Oh, all right. <laughs> so, um. Not far behind this uh, this orc newcomer, um, there is a small person about three feet tall with um, kind of slate blue skin and a shock of bright greenish blue hair or bluish green. I don't know. It's more green than blue. That's the important part. Um, and he's dressed kind of snazzy with like an overcoat. Um, that's like kind of like one of those um, noir detective coats, except it's colorful and not in black <laughs> and white. Um, and he's got some nice boots and a monocle, of course. Um, and he scurries up. Uh, 
Ah, yes, how do you all do? Uh, Rastalan Rabalad, Pathfinder Society Investigative Consultant. I heard that there was a job to be had here. Um, are you all here for that? Uh, yes, uh, apparently we are. Yeah, I'm looking for work. As I have, like, a piece of paper in my hand, I just sort of... Like, if I may ask, how... Do I have to, like, bend down to give this to you, or do I... Uh, mm. Oh, no, don't trouble yourself on my account. Um, we're, we're used to dealing with the tall folk. Um, but if I may see the paper for a moment... I, I, absolutely, here. And uh, oh. very quickly, I try and <laughs> give it to you. <laughs> Yes, thank you. And he'll reach up and, and take it and peruse it real quick and then hand it off to whoever happens to be closest. Um, yes, perfect. I was wanting to head back to Absalom anyway, and uh, this seems like a perfect way to do that and make a little bit of extra income. As you can imagine, um, there is not a lot of demand for an investigative consultant uh, in this town, but uh, I am rather capable with my blade and my bow, and so if we do uh, encounter any trouble along the way, I assure you that I can hold my own, as I imagine you all can, because you all look to be quite formidable indeed. Taking the paper, an elf comes up strolling to the group. Hey, there's a group that doesn't looks like they don't know each other. You, you have a very fine sense of dress. And standing before you is a elf that's about six foot three with a John Travolta 60s haircut. Uh, he's dressed very snazzily with a purple and orange uh, top coat, not to be outdone by the investigator in his flashy uniform. Uh, he looks at the group and says, well, I suppose we're all here for the same thing then, eh? Uh, uh, Staring around. Oh, well, nice to meet everyone. I'm. My name is uh, uh, the Amazing Fraud. And he waits for. Ready? He waits for like a, a is, reaction as he says that. What peculiar is that what your name? mother calls you? <laughs> it's what everyone calls me. I, yeah. You've never heard of the Amazing Fraud? Truly. I, Truly, okay. it's, a, it's a tragedy. Uh, I am from very far away. Mm, that must be it. I'm also, I'm also from very far away, as I, like, slightly bow. <laughs> I have the dealt with some frauds in my line of work, but I can't say that any of them have been particularly amazing. <laughs> no, not the fraud, the, the amazing fraud. I, the, the master of marvels, the, the diviner of the delusion, the uh, oh. master... Well, you, you have heard of me. That you sounds delightful. You are not the hippity hop animal? No. Frog? I'm not a hippity hop that, animal. That's a frog. That's what did different. he say? I'm the world's most famous wizard. Oh, and he just would you his hand would you care to show us an amazing marvel? Because yes. I'm I'm always interested in seeing new sights. I would be happy to do that. I'm the the best wizard here in all of Galarian. Uh, please, here. And he pulls out, he reaches in his pocket, and he takes out a deck of cards. Since we're talking and introducing ourselves, we may as well get to know each other. He takes out a deck of cards, and he fans it out in front of you, uh, Rastelban, the investigator. Go ahead, pick a card, any card. Very well, and uh, Rastelan ponders the cards for a moment, and then selects one kind of in the middle. Okay, and I'm going to roll a performance check. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle this card in the deck, and I'm going to tell you exactly which card is yours. Go ahead. In fact, you know what? I'll even let you shuffle it for me. And he hands uh, the investigator, Rostel, uh, Rostelbond, the uh, deck of cards. All right. Uh, well, how to roll a sneak. <laughs> or a performance <laughs> check. <laughs> yeah, Rostelbond uh, shuffles them a good three, four times for good measure, and then hands them back. Mm -hmm. Okay. To, All right. You know. To, wait. You said you don't know how to roll that. No, I'm trying to figure that out right cool. now. I'm stalling for myself. Um, no worries. You can go into your character sheet um, by double clicking on your token, and oh. then you see the hand icon and the blue crossbar. Blue icon on the. Cr I think I just rolled it. Let me take a look. What's guy got? I got uh, an yeah. eight. <laughs> it, okay. So uh, as he's looking through his deck of cards, uh, <laughs> the, the fraud. Uh, reaches in and he goes is this your card and he holds up a card that's completely not yours hmm no uh, i'm afraid that's not it yeah. but it was a good effort i, I applaud but, the effort well it's okay this is warming up i'm warming up here it's okay i gotta keep you on your toes is this your card he pulls out another card and it's not the card again no i um, mean this is still very entertaining well it's okay it's a it's an is, off day for me is this a new trick of yours 
No, it's not a new trick. I've been doing this for, for years, for centuries. And this is how oh, you no. defeat monsters? <laughs> defeat monsters? I'm here to explore. I'm part of the Pathfinder Society. Uh, uh, well, well I, 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 I figured all of you were here for the Pathfinder Society. I, yes. I, we, we might belong to different factions because I don't think any of my fellow faction mates do any of that. Well, that's a shame because I'm from the Horizon Hunters. We do this all the time. Uh, no. <laughs> I look down at my car and it looks at this. says Horizon Hunter. <laughs> Peculiar. Oh, I've never man. heard of a Horizon Hunter who does card tricks. Well, you've I never heard of the of... Amazing Fraud. No, I am oh, part that of the Radiant true. Oath. How about you all? Oh, same. Oh. Hmm. Well, it seems like I'm the odd one out in more ways than one. I'm from the Grand Archive. Oh, you're the you're you're from the Smart People faction. I, I see you. Well, I don't like to um, quite refer to myself that way because it tends to make people feel inadequate, uh, and I would hate to make anybody feel less than. Um, but I will say my powers of observation and knowledge are quite astute, um, and it is what drew me to the Grand Archive in the first place. You have an well, amazing fashion sense, I'll say that. Why, thank you. As do you, my good friend. So, it pans out to the colorfully planned party. Are we... <laughs> are we, are so, we set to go? Yeah, you got Perhaps we should look at uh, the details as they're directions on where yeah, to go Yeah, you can um so the note says intrepid travelers wanted please inquire at galantine deliveries for an urgent delivery mm -hmm. that must set out for absalom post haste reasonable terms payment upon delivery aloria galantine so some of you guys have been hanging out here within otari for like however long your character has been i i can't decide that for you so you know, but all of you know where Galantine Deliveries is, if you wanted to mosey on over there now. Um, yeah, I want to know what they consider go. reasonable. Shall we go? It says post haste, and I want to get paid, so... Yeah, isn't isn't reasonable, like, a couple of bowls of rice and... Maybe some well, different pieces? people Goodness. have a different idea of what's reasonable. I've traveled a thousand leagues, it cannot be that far. It's only a couple blocks away, and you find yourself within Galantine Deliveries, um, which is pretty much a delivery service that goes from Absalom to Otari and other places within the Isle mm -hmm. of Cortos. And you see, you quickly find the human ranger Gal Aloria Galantine, played by Ann Dowd, and I'll try my best to do an Ann Dowd impression. Hello. No. 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 <laughs> No, no. I'm sorry, Anne. I'm sorry. Hello. Why, hello. Who, who, hello. Have... What are you doing standing within my delivery service? Um, we understand you might have a job for us. Are you from the Pathfinder Society? Indeed. Oh, good, yes, good, 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 good. Good, 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 good. I need help. With an urgent delivery, post haste, but I bet you read that on that the letter I sent out. You sure did. I need you to deliver something to an aristocrat. A, you know what? I said it. Aristocrat <laughs> from Absalom, Colrin Holfein. He was in Otari last week for some sport fishing, and he netted a large, rare trevally, and arranged to have it mounted and shipped back to his manor in Absalom. I've just received an urgent missive from Master Holfein informing me that he wants the trophy shipment expedited and would pay the couriers the exorbitant sum of four gold pieces each, if they can get it to him in three days. Oh, fantastic. That's no, quite the sum. It is quite the sum. That's why I need it there quickly so I can keep getting his business. Uh, how big is this object? It's pretty big. Oh, you'll need someone quite strong to carry it. But multiple mm. people can't carry it at once. 
Frodo looks at the giant ogre that's in the I... group, or the. <laughs> yeah. It's like, hmm. I mean, well, I could, I could, I could certainly uh, try. I mean, but I'm certainly not that strong. I, I am afraid I will have to defer to the rest of you when it comes to carrying large objects, as you can imagine, I'm not particularly suited to such things. Hey, Aiden, would you like to try I first? Can, or? I can carry things. I'm pretty good at that. I already have it in a uh, wooden box with leather carrying straps. So I can strap this on. Well, you've come to the right group, so that's what we're here for. Uh, we'd be happy to help you out. Excellent. And my Excellent. accent is all over the place with this character. I need to figure out what <laughs> I, I want to sound like. Me, you and me both, buddy. And you and yeah. me both. That's just how it is some days. Um, let's see. So she looks at you and she said, The trip to Absalom takes three days by foot. And she gives a dismayed grimace at anyone in the party with obviously lower movement speed. So you shorties... Yeah. Oh, there's hey. only one short person. There's only one, I technically. I have a 25. I can keep up with the human mm. and the orc. Oh. Okay. The um, elves are a different foot. story. Half yeah, I win. I say we give it to the orc. I say we give it to the orc. Look at the size of that thing. Points um, at uh, Aiden. I, I do believe it is uh, or, or, a bit or, rude to refer to an orc as a thing. Oh, please. Or, but many of my best friends are orcs. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You're a rude, fancy Say, man. How... For, for an elf, you're a bit uh, unusual, shall we say. Well, how, uh, how large is uh, Badasha? She seems more capable than anyone else to carry something. Uh, she's like, <laughs> she's she's around six foot. As well. She's bigger than Aiden. She's got a strength of 18. Just Aiden like is that. small for an orc. Is he? Okay. <laughs> As a, I'm just I'm I feel I I would like to I mean I just deferred to to Aiden since you seem a Aiden's happy I'm I'm happy to carry it but uh, I am not the biggest one here. But I don't mind you carrying things. Did you say it should take more than one of us? Mm -mm. It's uh, I think I think it's strapped on to or. <laughs> By what do you mean by strap on like 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 tape or like like rope like a or leather, like a leather harness kind of situation or like, like a, a purse. A boxing I'm backpack like a wooden kind of backpack. <laughs> yeah. Can you take it off very easily? Can you take it off easily? Because maybe maybe we could share the load. You know, you 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 take it around sometimes, and then I it take it around fair. sometimes. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Kind of smells fishy, so that's why you have an aura around your token now. What is? What is the yeah. smell? <laughs> it's fish. It's a trophy fish. We couldn't get the smell out. Uh, oh, goodness. Good. Oh, Marvelous. I'm kind of hungry. Do you have any for supper? I no. shall be taking a bit of a step away. <laughs> if you need if you need food, you should go down to Tamley Tandervilles. Oh, Tamley Tandervilles? What does she have? She has fish. Because it's a fishing it's village. So, I do like good fish. fish. It's edible, but mm, if you have a taste for that sort of thing. That makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's just cleared out her basement. A couple of adventurers. She had a whole dungeon down there. A whole Did dungeon, she now? Multiple levels. Next, you're going to tell me there was a green dragon down there. Oh, who told you? One of the other Pathfinder <laughs> adventurers who've been coming across Are you across serious? This there, there was a green dragon in, in her mm -hmm, basement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, an, it was an odd group of adventurers who went down there. It was two rat folk, a Strix, who kind of reminds me of this lady. How, how did Dragon get down there? I don't know. It wasn't explained. Not even in the adventurer. In the adventure. GM <laughs> <laughs> never so I said, so we all said, okay. <laughs> we said, okay, Tamily, all right. Uh, I, I scowl at the her. mention of a dragon. By <laughs> all of the eldest, I can't believe there was actually a dragon down there. And a Strix. Oh, I've not seen a Strix in some time. Mm, I had a friend who uh, used to slay Strix. His name is uh, Gerald of Rivia. He's a fancy man himself, something. Uh, great at swords, though. 
<laughs> How can I- can I tell if this guy is lying? How, is there a role I can make? <laughs> okay. What if he- what if he doesn't know this man? <laughs> Eric, are you- well. is your character lying? Oh yeah, he's- he's a- uh, he's oh. a showman. Roll that can deception you go check. into the basic actions? Uh -huh. Um, macro that I had you grab. Uh -huh. I have that. I need you to do... Lie? Deception. Lie, yes. Oh, the, lie. The lie basic action. Oh, the lie, I see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because in Pathfinder, um, lying is a blind roll, so you don't know. Ah. Nice. Um, I did it. So, do I have to do a perception check on this? No, or because it will be against your passive perception. So oh, my I passive. I am going to mm. DM you what you think. <laughs> okay, let's Vaffles see says hello, by the way. Hi, Vaffles. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Can I see rolls? his reaction? Tweet? Okay. <laughs> no, yeah. my reaction is, uh, oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. It sounds like a, a funny old, uh, what are, what do you people say for friend in, in this part of the world? I don't Which know. She's friend. It's okay. Yeah. Very interesting friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, so, I don't know. let's just, let's just get on with it, right? Because we don't want, we don't want Aiden to smell like, smell like fish for the entire day, do, do we? Our three days are ticking. Uh, who wants to lead the way? I have a compass as I like pull out. Uh, <laughs> Did you guys Is there like a road, to... I'm guessing? Just yeah, to, like, there's a travel? road, yeah. It's just literally, it's like the road, there's like a basic road to Absalom. It's like. I mean, Absalom is like one of the biggest cities, so pretty much everything connected on this island goes. All to roads Absalom, lead to Absalom. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, did, How do you, you want us to represent the party order on uh, Foundry here? Well, I'll we'll, we'll get to a different map soon. Don't, don't get okay. Don't, but I have two orders of business before we go on this expedition. Mm -hmm. Eric, did you want to go to Tamily Tanderville and get food for your adventure? Oh, he's okay. He's just going to let it pass. He was making small talk, and he's going to go with the group wherever they go. Sure. And then, do you guys want to roll any, like, knowledge or recall knowledge? Or do you guys want to... Yeah. You want to do any skill checks before you go? Um, yeah, I want to know if sure. I know anything about our client. Yeah, go for it. Um, or whoever we're taking it. this to. For, you can just uh, roll a basic <laughs> action. So go into the basic actions macro again. This will be a common theme for all of our Pathfinder games. And you can find recall knowledge there and you'll click that. And then you just let me know what you're trying to think about. And then I'll let you know what you get. Because it's also a blind roll. Okay. Is it going to pop up? Ask me which skill I want to use. No, because in the remaster, Good. they changed how it worked. Um, so you roll for all of them simultaneously. And I pretty oh. much choose the best. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, it says my recall knowledge is minus one, which is definitely Do you have your not... token clicked? Oh, that might help. Mm -hmm. Yes, oh, I when do. When in doubt, well, make sure you, that you only it. have your token clicked. Yeah, it still says minus one. Yeah, mine does too. That's obviously not correct. Yeah, that's not correct. Um, it didn't <laughs> pop up minus one. So yeah, I you just... guys can all roll basic. Uh, you guys can all roll for. Ooh, what what is going on down here with these effects? I just clicked it, but it didn't seem. Yep, it's a blind roll. So I got oh, one from so... Adasha. I got multiple from Adasha. So I'm gonna get. Oh, one sorry, one. I, I, I don't want to show up on the. I don't want to show up like the question marks on the chat. My bad. No worries. I have Adasha. I have Rossalan. Anyone else want to do a recall knowledge through the basic actions yeah, I'm... macro? I clicked. So... A, I clicked it, and a little banner came up that said that I tried. Oh, can you click it again? Because <laughs> I might have like deleted it on accident. I was trying to do. I was trying to get rid of another one. So you might have done okay, it. Okay, did it correct. show up this time? I have, yeah, I have Aiden, I have the amazing Frode, and then. Um, so Kiki's gonna do her esoteric lore. Oh, hell yeah. So, Ooh. covers everything. Mm -hmm. Oh, didn't go. 
How do you do it? It says private? Aiden also has a minus one, but that makes sense for him. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't know. I think it's yeah. a bug because it's doing I don't all know. of like your different knowledges. Yeah. I wouldn't worry. Oh, it I don't know if it it's can't... supposed to or not, but he doesn't know shit, so. It must be because it can't show all the modifiers on the screen. Something like that. Okay, so let's go through this. I think we've got. Wow. Okay. Oh, I also have a minus one today. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we all do so. all right so kiki you know that bandits are sometimes a problem wait ki wait 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 kiki what are you trying to learn about the road to absalom or what so are you trying to learn wanna, in general i want to learn the dangers that we likely could encounter on the way both <laughs> yeah, bandit? natural and <laughs> unnatural yeah you mean like bandits, <laughs> bandits yeah are you know um I don't know if you know this, but <laughs> you, you know that bandits are sometimes a problem on the road <laughs> between the Zari and Apsala. But figure. you also know very well that there are rumors of strange creatures who crawl up from lightless places underground. And since your whole character's thing is about esoteric knowledge and fighting monsters, strange unruly monsters that no one knows a lot about cryptids even um that um many underground monsters consider the surface to be inhospitable and entirely too bright even at night amazing frode what are you trying to learn about uh Frode's, Frode's not from here, so he'd be trying to reference uh, people that he knew from the introduction or any any sort of familiarity. He's just trying to grasp sort of a greater familiarity of the place. Uh, he wouldn't know anything about anything and what to look for, I suppose. Hell oh, yeah. Let's see. Uh, you know... Um... Would I, so Fro, Fro would be a well-traveled person. He would mm. be someone that's traveled around a lot. So if there's any kind of like person personnel that would be around, he might be familiar with somebody that may be from the area. Of, even if he's not, he'd be the type of person to maybe have a home in every port. So that's what he'd be kind of listening oh, for in any kind of information. And you've you've heard about Colrin Holfein before. Great guy, great cat folk. I, mm. That's canon now. Um, an aristocrat, some would say. Um, and he's like very reasonable and he wants what's the best for Absalom and Otari. Um, so if you, you just know that about him, he wants what's the best. And if you're able, he rewards people who are able to benefit the world. And that, so I have a good opinion of him. Yeah. You have a so good, I would have a good, opinion. great guy. Good yeah. opinion. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see who's next. Aiden, what are you trying to learn? Um, so, like, I don't think Aiden has ever been to Absalon. Ooh. Uh, I don't think he's left his little hometown yet. So I think he just kind of wants to, like, remember, like, you know, things that he's been told about people who, like, did go there. Ooh. This could be fun. How about yeah, this? they don't have to be true. Yeah. <laughs> Let, let's do a little world, like a group world building exercise. This might be a little weird, but sometimes I like to do this. I like to get everyone in on world building. Yeah. I will give a hero point to anyone who comes up with, who says a piece of gossip about Absalom. Like, Ooh. just like hearsay that um, Aiden might have heard. There's a um, secret bathhouse in the puddles, which is like the poor area of uh, Absalom that caters to the rich and wealthy and is run by a uh, like small community of goblins. Mm -hmm. And the puddles is a place where it got flooded and the flooding never left. So people just live in their flooded houses and they traverse this part of the city by boat. Oh, that sounds fun. Mm -hmm. so and Mike... also, like, a terrible living condition. Oh, there's mold everywhere. Micah, you get a hero point. <laughs> yeah. 
Excellent. You know, it's gonna be a lot better than my suggestions. Like, you know, the aristocrat is actually a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Gasp! A shuni. <gasps> he lied. He lied. <laughs> yeah, maybe he's one of those Smash Face. He's trying to pass himself off as one of those Smash Face cats, but since everyone <laughs> hates shuni for some reason, he's like saying that he's a cat. For those that don't know, a shuni is like a pug person. Oh. Yeah, and everyone on the forums, everyone on the Reddit hates shuni. And that. that... You know what? I actually like. You know, I'm gonna believe that now. <laughs> I'm not just gonna believe yeah. that. <laughs> Wildcat Topher said, "Did you hear? Some Azerketty noble seems to be to have disappeared, and his father is offering coin for any information to his whereabouts." Hero point for Twitch chat. Yeah, hero point for. He has enough fucking hero points. <laughs> 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 yeah, you get a hero point though for our next game, Topher. Anyone else want to try to get a, an extra hero point for this little world building fun? Three, two, one. So that's some of that's some of the like rumors you've heard about Absalom. I, obviously, it's like the biggest city, and there's so much going on. There's so many different like quarters and like um, different cultures that go there there's wizarding schools there's so many different religions there that will probably interest you to see how your pantheon has different like perspectives or different like cults or sex sex and sex um you can get pretty much everything there there's tournaments that are hosted there it's it's an amazing place from all you've heard about it yeah, Aiden's really excited to go. Um, he's hoping he can maybe uh, get like an apprenticeship with a, a blacksmith. Oh hell yeah! Because mm. you worship the dwarven god of blacksmithing, right? Well, so there's um, uh, yes, kind of. Uh, Aiden has a fire that just never went out, and he thinks the fire is his god. Um... <laughs> okay. Sounds reasonable. Fair. <laughs> oh yeah. Um, Rosalan, what were you trying to learn? Uh, for I'm trying to find or remember any information I might know about the um the person we're delivering to and other people that may be tangentially involved. Yeah, you think he's secretly shooting? Okay. And Adasha, what were you trying to learn? <laughs> Wait, that's it. Yeah. Oh. Um, might be correct, might be wrong. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> blind mm. rolls, baby, blind rolls. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we already got, we already got the dangers ahead. Uh, any hazards that I have to like be worried about? Like, is the road actually safe for travel or? Aside yeah, from it's, bandits, it's the most like well trodden road. It, you shouldn't have any problems. I mean, so many people go back and forth from it. There shouldn't be really any like traps or anything. Okay, yeah, that's that's all I need to know because, yeah. All right, uh, I'm going to address the party here. Uh, I suppose before we leave leave this town, uh, one last check. Do we need to visit any shops or anything, or mm -hmm. uh, are we are already all set to go? If we had money for shops, we wouldn't take this job. Let's be off. <laughs> With a single tear, like of. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's too true. <laughs> So you're off to see the wizard, the wonder was the wonderful catfolk of Absalom. So <laughs> just before sundown, you guys are out and about. You're walking there. Um, maybe you've been given some donkeys to ride on. Um, it should only take three days. You all have tr like rations and stuff. Um, but um, just before sundown on your first day of travel, you enter a boggy area of the road and spot some traders in need of help. Just left of the road. 
A heavily laden wagon lies sideways in deep mud. The muck is churned and crisscrossed with layers of muddy sticks. Two dejected looking halflings sit at the edge of the mud pit, stoking a campfire. You there, depressing halflings. Are you oh. doing okay? What, how can we help? Oh. Oh, wow. I would just like to apologize to the fancy man. He's very rude. Depressing. We are very depressed <laughs> we are halflings. Hi. We're uh, I, I too am also depressed at times. I, we just wanted to see if we could do anything to help you out. We see that you're in quite the predicament with your, seems to be your wagons turned over. Oh, you're so right. Oh my gosh, thank the gods. I told Kiki, you to keep Kiki's... praying, Nero. I know, Candid. Oh. <laughs> Go ahead. Kiki's going to eye the bushes on the left and right, hearing about, as she knows, bandits are in the area, and she's concerned. So you're doing like a, you're seeking, you're doing like a perception. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can do like a seek basic action or a perception or perception check, whichever. I'll, I'll just... All right, let's do the perception check here. Oh, yeah. uh, Rastlan will. Um... Do you want that uh, a secret roll or? Yeah, let's make that a secret roll. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I <laughs> love secret rolls. There you go. You you feel like a rustling in the bushes. Does this wagon appear to All be right. like broken or it's just sideways? It's sideways. Yeah, Rastlan yeah, will. Yeah, gonna go yeah. try to. Start with trying the, to pull it upright. Well, yeah, with Rastlan will ride right up and right. examine, like, take a once over of the wagon and see if there's anything unusual. Sure. And right. I may, if I may, uh, I do happen to have an investigator feat. Okay. Okay, so then right now the order is going to be Glenn, Morgan, and then you, Michael. So All right. We've yeah. resolved things. Um, did anyone right. else want to like jump in on like doing actions before? I... Yeah. Uh, well, so Frod's going to be I... uh, engaging them in conversation. He's the talker, the party face, I suppose. And uh, he's but Frod is kind of a con artist himself because he's like that's kind of his shtick. So he has like a better call Saul type yeah. appeal, like talking to people. So he'd be listening in for any deception while he's maybe not observant to like his surroundings. He mm -hmm. would certainly pick up on any kind of maybe deception that may be passing in conversation. Oh, yeah. So I'd be listening for that. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to handle that fourth, and then Twanky, you'll be last. What, did you want to do anything right now, or...? Uh, I'm just going to help out Aiden put up uh, put up the uh, the cart, because oh, yeah. these, these people are in trouble. So. Cool. Well, uh, we'll do your roles um, when we do Aiden's. So I believe I said it was Glenn, Aiden, with Twangy, then Micah, then Eric. Cool. Okay. I, I, so, I don't know why I mix player names with character names. So. <laughs> <But, laughs> I'll know what I'm saying. All right, yeah, Glenn. We got it. Uh, okay, so Kiki, uh, with the flat of her wakasashi, she slaps Adasha on the thigh and points to where she heard the rustling bushes. I, I look in the direction. Uh, it's it's nighttime, isn't it? It's like dusk. Okay, so I can still see. Before sundown. Right. You know, it's the golden hour. Yeah, so, so I, I immediately just take take a look in that direction. Is there, do I need to make a roll here, or are you gonna just? Yeah, you could do a secret. You could do a secret roll. You can do a secret roll for this perception check. Uh, I will do a seek roll. Doop. There's nothing there. Uh, I sort of. You're in the bushes, right, Kiki? <laughs> or we're, like we're we're all together, but I heard that there were bandits in the area, so she looked to the left and the right, and she saw some bushes rustling. Uh, so, I mean, it could... You, you saw some bushes rustling. Is I, I don't... Whatever is in there is probably not in there anymore. Is, I, you, would you like to check it out with me? If, that, if, you, yes. if you're that... That's okay. Go. Uh, I guess Kiki and I make our way over to the bush. There's That's nothing wrestling. in the bush. Nah, okay. You, you know we're like out in nature. It's probably just an animal. That was that was my thing too, but you know, mm -hmm. uh, well, I'll probably still. Yeah, 
you, you noticed it, and that's that has to be worth something. How embarrassing for Kiki. I mean, we'll, uh, <laughs> I'm going to look for any tracks. That, that's uh, so rude. Yeah. This area. You're you're looking for tracks now, trying to trying to make sure, trying to prove yourself right to this new group mm -hmm. of people, probably. Um, to no avail. There wasn't anything oh, well. there. Okay. But um, we're gonna go next to who did I say was next? I think Aiden. Aiden. Okay, Aiden and Adasha. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll an athletics check to see if you can get this thing out of the mud as you like head over to the um wagon and you see that there um is like the corpse of a donkey there's a donkey corpse oh sad oh, no. yeah one of them says that's our donkey as they continue talking <laughs> with uh fraud so I just click the athletics that's on my sheet. Is that how I do this? Uh, yeah, you'll click the number that's on your sheet. Uh, wait, I think that's not. Nope. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sometimes there's a lag. No, I... well, I had to. I click the dice. If I click the number, it asks me if I want to change what the number is. <laughs> oh yeah, there's like a pop up. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. And then, um, Adasha, can you roll an athletics check to see if you aid? Yes, let's see here. That's your, as you leave the bushes and you help out your newfound friend. Cool. So, Adasha, you actually were able to score high enough mm. to lift it. Um, you start, you try to aid, but really you're the one who took point here and you're able to lift it up with your... Herculean barbarian strength as Aiden kind of like didn't do so well. Didn't do as it's well. Fine. You know, maybe you it's pulled fine. something earlier. Maybe you're just tired. Aiden's carrying the heavy fish box. Exactly. <laughs> you, you're already you're already dealing with something heavy. So they both the halflings start to jump up and down as you're able to pull the wagon out from the mud. Rosalind, what did you want to do with the uh, wagon as you inspected it? Yeah. Um, oh, that's odd. Yes, I want to see if that's odd, and uh, basically looking for what may have caused the wagon to um, tip over um, or cause this general malfunction situation in the first place. And as it happens, I also have uh, imprecise scent out to 30 feet, if that. Probably okay. the dead donkey. <laughs> <laughs> well, you find the donkey, for sure. You find that the wagon is full, filled with crops, spices, and other staples that usually go to Atari's Market Square. Um, as you're looking about being very um, detective-esque, you know, you, you have your thinking cap on. You notice that the halflings are like, blinking a lot and like rubbing their eyes. You also see the donkey, the dead ass donkey in the mud. Um, and you see a large bite mark on the donkey. And you go, hmm. that's odd to the bite mark on the donkey. And you see um, large jaws that do a lot of damage, possibly 1d12 damage plus two. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Um, uh, if I may interrupt, uh, Amazing Fraud and company. Yes. Um, oh. I, I must say, it, it is a little odd that you did not mention that your donkey was nearly bisected by some rather terrifying jaws. Well, we did! And then we rewind a little bit, and then we go to... <laughs> <laughs> ah! I knew, I knew splitting it up would bite me in the Sorry. are you splitting it up would bite me in the ass <laughs> sorry no worries all right we go to the amazing fraud and all right that my name's campit and i'm miro and we're the league of foul league Allo brothers uh, nice to meet you uh legal foul brothers is what i heard legal oh, sorry we're a little we're a little like shaken from everything Le our donkey died 
No, we're, I, we can see that. I could, uh, my companions, and I look over at the companions that are messing with some empty bushes. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll be happy to help you. We're, we're very skilled in a lot of adventuring matters. Maybe you'd like to help us, uh, maybe tell us, tell me a little bit about what happened. We could be happy to, maybe we could find a solution. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we were just, oh, Miro, you tell them. Okay, Camden. Well, we were just, we were just on our way from Otari, taking crops and spices, because we like to sell them in the market square, you know, halfling stuff, you know, make that money, jingle jangle. But then something came out and, mm -hmm. like, shot a bright light at us, and we were like, oh, and he was like, oh. And then uh, Miro goes, You were like, what again? Oh, oh, and then Miro goes. Wait, say that again. I was more like, oh, not oh. Sorry, we were more like, oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, I just make sure I do the first, my first, second time. I, sorry, oh, I made sure yes. I had it. was just a, this big bright light, and so we were, <laughs> we were confused, and then we fell into the mud. And we were so shocked that we just kind of wiggled about in the mud a little bit. And then we heard our donkey die. We heard a huge chomp. And we looked up. And, oh, there was the craziest thing. You know, what we saw, we saw, like, this... Did you describe it? It's like a giant frog with a lantern. Giant, giant frog giant with a lantern. Giant frog with a lantern. Yes. With a lantern. I'm doing a... An amazing frog? I'm doing a, rec I'm doing a recall <gasps> knowledge on that. How do I do it recall knowledge? As am I. It'll be a basic action. Well, who's in this conversation? Hang on, am I in the conversation? Oh, yeah. Who, Micah, who? You, you enter in now. Oh, okay. all right. <laughs> um, can I pursue a lead on the bite? Yes, absolutely. Okay. A thousand times, yes. So then I will have a plus one on my recall knowledge. Oh, yeah. So what are you trying? You're trying to um, figure out what this may be. Yeah. And, and what could possibly cause them to go, oh! <laughs> <laughs> and ooh! And um, ooh! So Eric, you'll be able to do a recall knowledge by going into the basic actions. I'm ready for it. I think I just did it. I was just trying to see if I can recall knowledge yeah. of something about the monster. Hell yeah. And I also, I'll be checking to see if they're lying too. If there's any kind of deception. So, hmm. you've heard, in all your days as a theater actor, um, you've been magician. Ma a magician, but you have theater lore, so, <laughs> like theater magician. Hmm. Um, That's fair. You've never heard of a frog with a lantern in any like stories about the Otari like road or something. You've definitely heard about like some other like scaly creatures kind of like rampaging through the tunnels underneath who have some like light capabilities, flashing lights. Um, but you don't think it's like a person with a frog companion or whatever they're saying. Um, you also think they're telling the truth. They 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 seem kind of like idiots who really wouldn't be able to tell like a really long story like this. And... Fair enough. Cool. Okay. Uh, Rosalyn, you mm, you've heard some things through your underworld connections that some bandits use these underground tunnels for um, traversing through this. Um, part of the woods to set up ambushes, um, but they've come across some really creepy creatures that um, kind of fit this description that could blind people in a huge flash and do some like guerrilla warfare tactics um, with some with some trap know-how. You might know how to use some traps. And you think to yourself, Hmm. And also, I'm going to say for um, Fraud that these stories about these kind of creatures are usually like, they end with, they're more scared of us than we're scared of them. They just need to go back home, like all of us, 
And then that's usually when the family crowds around and holds each other and then they say things like, I'm so glad I know you, Mom. I'm so glad I'm home. You were in this dream and you were in this dream. <laughs> and that's usually how these, like, tales go. All right, right. Okay. Frog's looking at him and he says, Frog with a lantern. Are you sure that's what you saw? No, Perhaps because... Maybe... Go on. No, because all the mud and the light. Uh, it's true. It's yes, true. So it, could been, it could have been something different. Okay. I I have heard stories of um from uh people that I've communicated with of uh, uh, tunnels in this area that uh, tunnels. Yes, tunnels in the in the area of this particular part of the road where um creatures uh like bear tunnels. What kind of tunnels are we talking about? Those foxholes. Oh, I imagine they're much bigger because uh human sized creatures can walk through them apparently unhindered have you ever heard of such a thing and um they can create blinding flashes of light and they enjoy uh ambushing their prey so um i do not find their story quite as far-fetched as these as it may sound animals Kiki. That... yeah Kiki's i don't know if they're well, animals they... i know that they are creatures which there is a distinct difference if i may say they probably didn't fly. Is somebody good at tracking? Go take a look. Alas, I'm not so good at tracking in uh, natural environments. My skills are more suited for cities. Well, I could take a look, I suppose. I'm not any particular expert in tracking. Uh, certainly no more than your expertise. I'm sure you would have found something in the bushes, surely. If there are any tracks around. <laughs> Is is tracking a skill or is that under survival? survival? It'll be under survival. A Aiden's good at survival. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aiden, have a, what do you see? Uh, if Aiden is going to survival to track, I'm going to use clue in. Ooh. Um, yeah. which basically Rastlan shares information about his investigation to whoever's going to make a roll so that they get uh, his plus one bonus on that roll. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and okay. I drag and drop the effect onto Aiden, so it'll do all the math for us. That explains how my number changed randomly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See how it has a little That's... clue in modifier? Isn't that cool? Isn't that neat? Wow. Math? That's a pretty good roll. <laughs> and with that pretty good... Yes. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. That's a say, yes, here. Yes, here. These are these are the signs I believe you should be looking for. This is kind of what the anatomy that I've been told is like. If you uh, can imagine this sort of thing, and then they move like so, and you see over the shoulder of Kiki, who's still going through the bushes to find <laughs> something, tracks. Hey, uh, uh Kiki. Mm. And yes? you just like turn that way a little bit in the ground. Oh, oh. Those, those tracks you were looking you, for. They're like huge they, tracks, just like this, just laying there in plain sight. <laughs> this is why we have experts like you around. And uh, oh, her, 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 like, her I think Kiki survival is matter. plus zero. How many donkeys do we have? I think you each have a donkey. I mean, I can just walk. If, oh. if these halflings, they have a cart. We shouldn't take the donkeys on something dangerous. Let's follow oh, these tracks. Don't be silly. I'm small enough that I can ride. Well, no, I was, I was, I was offering a donkey to these lovely people. Oh, with no. their wagon. Uh, let them take mine. Dead. I am, I am small. I am light. I could certainly ride alongside one of you. I just want to say, as you said, these lovely people with their wagon, it's two halfling brothers covered in mud just standing there like... <laughs> <laughs> they're like horrifying right now. <laughs> and they're just going... Oh. No, but w w would you like a donkey? Yes! All right. This will be good. I don't want to... Well, we should try to bury Ginger Snap, but... Yeah, we'll take one of your donkeys. What's the, what's its name? Um. Micah, did you want to give your donkey or Aiden's oh. donkey? Uh, Aiden doesn't care. Either one is fine. We're going to yeah. kind of end up in the same position either way. <laughs> yeah, Aiden will offer his donkey. Um, This is... uh. Chompers. Steve. 
Chompers. Oh, we'll take good uh, care of Chompers. Careful, uh, he does bite. Oh, bite? No. Just like the frog thing with the ghost with the magic lantern. Ooh. Well, I don't, he doesn't have magic lantern. Okay, well, I guess that's better. Oh, that's... And he's not a frog. He's pretty good at, at hauling stuff. Okay, come on, Chompers. Yes, and, and you are you are halflings by uh yeah, look at the lucky. eldest. You are you are going to be quite lucky uh on your on the rest of your journey, I'm sure. That's what halflings do. Well is it I will not? say this. I will say that. We're not feeling too lucky right now. Isn't that right, Miro? Oh <laughs> Well then maybe Desna <laughs> will uh give you a change of fortune. Ooh. As you make your way to Otari. Yes, praise Desna. Praise Desna. Well, Aiden, do you want to lead on? Yeah. Sure. Uh, Miro goes, I can give you one of these. It's a lesser smoke stick. Who wants it? Like you smoke the stick? A or? leather smoke stick. A lesser smoke stick. Or what, smoke what's it do? ball because of. It's basically a smoke bomb. Oh, okay. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Um, it is pretty perhaps, fun. Perhaps, Howdy, dude. perhaps something for the wizard in case he needs to hide. Oh. Mayhap. You want a smoke bomb, Frode? Uh, can I eat it? I don't think it's well, a wise idea. Yeah. <laughs> you could, though I would not advise. Not advised. No, I don't I think it's going to taste that great. Sure, I'll, t I'll, I'll keep hold of it. I'm sure I can find a use for a smoke stick. Well, I think it's something that's like a remaster. So it says smoke stick in my... It doesn't matter. We'll see a smoke oh, it's we'll smoke ball for me, smoky. yeah. Yeah, I think they yeah. changed the name so they don't get sued by wizards. Yeah, I think it's the same thing, just different name. Yeah, yeah, they did that with a bunch of stuff. So, okay, so thank you right. so much. If you make it to Absalom, make sure to find us. Good, good luck um, with the rest of your trip. Yes, do take care. Well, have y'all ever seen such a pathetic group in your life? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad they're on their way. Good job giving them the donkey, eh? How far away do you let them I've... travel before you start <laughs> talking shit? They're, they're pretty, they're pretty, they're like out of earshot. Let, you know, out of human earshot. I don't know about a half swing earshot. <laughs> You're a very unpleasant person. Whoa, whoa, I just You're tell them like just, it is. You've just figured that out? Um, I, well, I, I, I mean, I never met him before. Well, I, he I, just rude. Anyone. Why don't I, we focus on the danger in front of us? <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah. one of you was suggesting we should all split up and something like that. It's a terrible idea. Uh, I think, I think um, Aiden, Aiden should follow the tracks and the rest yeah, of us I'm, will I'm, I'm, I'm follow back the him tracks. up. They were Aiden certainly was... peculiar for halflings. That is... Yes, well, I... Mostly they were just a little freaked out. I'd be freaked out if a giant frog came and ate my donkey. Yeah. Well, I, I suppose say, that's fair. I must say, it's my, that was my first interaction with, with halflings. Are um, they usually like that? No, they're usually not covered in mud. Do you guys mm. only mm. see darkness? I no. see a whole map. Like, I've got a map. Yeah. There's, there's like, kind of grass small, and but... trees and stuff. Oh, nice. Is there, like, a way to move it, not, it like, halfway in the bottom of the screen? Yeah, do control, and then the arrow keys. If you, um, right-click oh, and drag, you can also okay. drag the screen and, around. And, and you can control plus and minus to zoom in and out. Okay. All right. There we go. There we go. I can see clearly now. All right. All right. So, I mean, Aiden's gonna start following these tracks, like into yeah. the woods. Into the woods. Actually, I think uh, that's what he was told to do. So yeah. he's oh. gonna do it. Which... I will keep you clued in as needed. 
Are we mm -hmm. going to the south or the east? Where do the tracks lead? Yeah. Or where is up with these tracks? I'm just asking on the map which way. So they the lead like a couple of feet, and then it seems like they disappear. Oh. So maybe oh. it could. Maybe. Just search and see if there's uh, a way like to go underground there. I shall sniff Ooh. the air. Aiden, look for a, a hatch or trap door yeah, there, or something. Is there like a, a hole in the ground? <laughs> uh, can you roll perception checks for me? Um, that's a good question. Um, it'll be in the hand icon in your character sheet. Yes. The blue crossbar, and then there'll be like a hand, and then you'll. Oh no! It won't I am be actually. Not seeing perception. No, I was gonna say go go up to attributes. And then you can, it, it'll have perception. It'll be the second perception you sc scroll to. Yeah, not on your I'm character. also not seeing attributes. Perception um, is on the left column yeah, under I, your AC. I always yeah. forget that it's in the little red tabard thing. Yeah. It's a dice. Yeah. I hate that. I hate Armor that. class. And then there'll be perception. Uh, so perception, you'll see oh. on the left side center, there's a little 20-sided die. Click that. Yes. The tracks only go a couple feet, right? Is that what you mm -hmm. said? That we'd... Yeah. And then so we're all disappear. looking at the track. Mm -hmm. did, did that work? Mm -hmm. Ooh, that worked. Yep. Okay. I'll take a look at the end of the, from this road or where we're standing. And I'll take a look at the tracks. Was I supposed to make that secret? Because I'm only just now seeing a button to do that. That's <laughs> fine. It's not a big deal. Okay. Oh, I forgot right. to pursue. Add my pursue a lead on that roll. So yeah. plus one to whatever I got. So fifteen or on. No, to mine. Oh, to yours. Mine okay. the. And I'll needles. go ahead. Well, Kiki's there. She'll also uh, be looking. Ooh, Kiki. Okay, Kiki. You immediately instead of looking down towards the ground. Look up and you see up. through the tree, it's kind of a hole. Like some of the branches oh. are kind of broken, and it uh -huh. seems that like a creature of your size was able to move through it. Like it's kind of cartoonishly. Uh, looks like, like, like a man burst through Looks the like tree. our friend uh, decided to uh, become ar arboreal. Do uh, any of you wish to climb up? I mean, I just, I got, what are we doing? We like, what is, what is the goal here? I, I believe we should be trying to get a Colvin and a, a Hothin, right? Is that, uh, we, the dark is coming quite soon. Either we're going to set up camp soon or make it to the city first. Well, we're not we're going to make it to the city before it's, it's dark. It's three days, yeah. But yeah. if you want to move on from this, I suppose the monster's not harming anyone. Yes, perhaps we should find a safer location a little bit further away from the uh, the recent tracks and set up camp for the night. Yeah, I mean, uh, we can hunt uh, this monster if you want, but I think it was just like, you know, some hungry animal. Okay, then. It most likely wasn't. It's most likely not going to bother us anyways. I mean, it's, it's not like a whole pack of them are going to show up, right? I mean, that's... Well, doesn't happen here, does it? Not. This is... The, 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 Adasha, this is what you call a curse. Don't say such words, or they will come true. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not know well, that. We do have a lot of donkeys here ourselves. Minus one, thanks to your generosity. Uh, you say still... that like it's a bad thing. Well, let's be off. At least let's get a mile down the road before we camp. I think that's a, I think that's a fair idea. Uh, that's All right. A, yes. Yeah. Just... Here, here, Aiden. I can I can take up some of the. Uh, I can start carrying it if if you'd like to relax your shoulders for a bit. Yeah, we can we can switch. Yeah. So you guys want to go down like this yeah. way, or do you want to loop around like this way? I mean, over over here seems pretty. Oh, I can't. Is it control click? No. Uh, I mean, over over here sounds pretty, pretty safe. It's away from everything. <laughs> well, okay. Is that are we? But we're saying we're giving up this hunt. We're gonna go a mile away. We're just gonna use the same map. 
Well, you guys have to move through the map to get a mile away. Oh, I see. Oh, oh I do, see. Do south? Do south. Let's yeah, do continue south. on the road. Let's just continue yes. on the road then, yeah? Uh, if I may uh, double up with somebody, I would appreciate that. I didn't give my donkey. Oh. You, you can share mine. Damn, well, thank you. Or I can okay. share yours. Pause. There's room on mine. <laughs> Pause as we're moving a little too fast. We're moving a little too fast because I yeah. see, and I'm gonna allow you to retcon this if you'd like. Fraud, are you someone who would just start walking and lead the charge, so to speak? Yeah, yeah fraud is a pretty independent person. He's uh, someone who's well traveled. Again, well traveled. Not really worried about too much. Not the most generous person. He's actually a rogue. If anyone's actually Whoa. going to. Uh, <laughs> but he, but he's advertised as a wizard. Never would have guessed. I know. <laughs> One second. <coughs> I'm gonna... Is something about to jump out at Frode? No, but Frode, you almost. Um, oh, go oh. into a trap. This is a hidden bog. <laughs> you yeah. really lucked out with that roll. And then let me do one more thing. Actually, I'm switching. Is this the same road they took the donkey down? Like, are we just. No, they're a little further up. Oh, but you But they got... took the same. All right. They took the same road, but they're still behind you. Because mm. they're burying their donkey. Mm, okay. Mm. Frode, um, you see um this creature in the distance hiding in the bushes, not so well. So roll, oh, for, whoa, initiative. Whoa. I'll roll for initiative. What is this? Oh shit. <laughs> so initiative in Pathfinder works a tiny bit different than it does in Dungeons and Dragons. In Pathfinder, you can use whatever skill you think is most suitable for the event happening um, to be your initiative. So for example, for default, it's usually perception, but if you're like tracking someone, you could use survival. If if you're in or a wizard sneaking, battle, you can use arcana. stealth. Yeah, sneaking for stealth is another common one. So you can find the initiative button on uh, right above the perception button in the tabard on the left-hand side of the character sheet. Below, right below the perception. Or, or, or you can go to the initiative tab. It says it's already uh, rolled the for me. Sorry, the combat encounter tab. Looks like it's already rolled for fraud. Oh, so someone may have rolled for you. I'll take it. It's a 21. That's fine. I'm a pretty good. <laughs> I can roll for you, um, Morgan, if you'd like. Eight. No, I... I'm just... Yes. Why Morgan do I have make... a plus one for... It says modifier plus one circumstance. Oh, I, that's I, I think over it should... from... Oh, yeah, Yeah, because I think it should be a seven, but it's an eight. Okay. There we go. Yeah, because it's because you All have right. clue... I just... Well, you were clued in, so... Yeah. But that was before. Am I still? Yeah, that only applies. I have to like re-up that every time. Yeah. Okay. I just I was wondering why I had a well. Okay, that's, that's a nice. that's a roll. Um, I was just wondering why I had a plus eight when I thought it should be a seven. That's all. Oh yeah, probably the clue in then. Okay. Uh, oh, we got a tie. That was a tw you rolled a twenty-one, right? Me Aiden. or I rolled a twenty-five. 25. Okay. For whatever reason, foundry bullshit didn't. Excellent. This is our first battle. So, um, for people who don't know who aren't familiar with Pathfinder, um, I will let you know how battles usually work. Um, every creature in this game gets three actions to do whatever they want. They can move three times, they can attack three times, they can try to talk shit, which actually has a battle effect in this game, three times. They can cast a spell three times if their spell takes one action. 
but most spells take two actions, and you can see this through the icons next to your spells. Um, I'd also recommend looking through basic actions, the basic actions macro on your hotbar, because that has some combat abilities in there, like grappling, shoving, hiding, demoralize, um, fainting. Um, none of my spells are on my character sheet. Well, get them off. Okay. That's a... How do oh. I add them? You can drag your the spells from your character sheet down to the hot bar. And put no, it on... but they all say empty. Oh, can you send me oh. your character sheet again? I'll be able to. Uh, can you send it to the um, the group, and then one of the other players can make your spell list. Sure, I think it's still in there. Unless Remember that we made like an updated one? We did do an updated well. one. So it should be in your path builder and you can share. Yes. Oh, I have it, I have it, I have it. It's actually in the original path builder. So if you guys... Yeah. Um, who wants to do Morgan's spell list? I can do it since I'm last in the initiative. I would love that. You're great. That, that makes sense. Okay. You're a friend to all of uh, us. Thank you for pointing that out, Aiden. But this blind helm is gonna fuck everyone up first, okay? <laughs> um, he is gonna r move here, one action, and then he's gonna do some bullshit. How do how you like that? Oop. Not a whole Can't lot, actually. Like yeah, yeah. Really if, if, Coming if, we're, if we're given a choice. Are we given a choice? Can we no. say no to this? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Is this, no. is this an attack? This Whoa. is um it's oh, shooting no, its, it's not a strike. What? So everyone... Oh, this is the thing that blinds you just never mind. Um. Blind is the halfling. So I'm gonna roll a fortitude save for you guys individually. Uh ooh. Rosalyn, you um, got a critical failure. Would you like to use a hero point to reroll that? Well, yes, I would. <laughs> See here, and this is. You still got a. I'm sorry, you still got a critical failure. Oh, oh God! Wow, oh, that's yikes. wow. You're that's blinded. just destiny. You're blinded for one hour. <sighs> okay. Great. Okay, so Our now... investigator is blinded. Fantastic. Uh, I can smell things. Well, it's a good thing we're sharing a donkey. Oh, that's actually a great point. You have... Uh, are you a sensate gnome? Yep. Yeah, perfect. So you can attack and you just... It's like they're invisible, but at least you can attack. Yeah, they're like just um, concealed, not... Uh, yeah, hidden. that's it. So it's a... Oh, I failed too. I also can't see. Did you want to re-roll using your hero point? Oh. Um, Aiden, did you want to reroll using your hero point, or did you want to save those? Do I have a hero point? Do yeah, everybody a... has one, mm -hmm. at least. Sure. How do I do that? I will do it for you. You succeeded. Okay. You are not blinded. I will roll for Adasha next. Oh, I... Oh, did oh. you? No, no, I did not. I did not. All right, would you like to use a hero point? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, yes, I, yes, I would. Also, Morgan, your spells should be all in there now. Thank you. Uh-huh. Frode, you failed. Would you like to use a hero I'm... point to re-roll? Oh, I'm actually, blinded. Wow. I'm blinded, though. Is that correct? Blinded if for I... 1d4 rounds, and I haven't rolled the 4. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll use a hero point. Are right, you just roll it, or you got it? Yeah, I got it. Not enough. Yeah. Oh! But you're only blinded for one round. Okay. Whoa! Whoa! That was bright? Hello? This blind helm Hello? is going to attack the nearest. 
And I'm not gonna deal with the donkey shit. We're all gonna imagine that you guys hopped off of the donkeys when the donkeys ran away. Is that okay. fair? With that seems it. reasonable. Great. Let's make it, let's make it easy for us. Um, I am able to hit Rastalon. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Ooh, with a with um, claw. With claw attack. Now, if if he's using a strike, uh, I. Oh yeah. I make puppy dog eyes. Okay. So I have to make a diplomacy check. Make sure you against... have this creature targeted. It seems like you. Do. While you're blinded, you're using puppy dog eyes. <laughs> yes. So are we just looking, are we just looking at pupils? They just are extra sparkly. <laughs> Oh, it didn't work. Uh, I'm gonna go yeah. ahead and hero oh, point yeah. that, cause why not? Oh, that got even worse. Okay. Oh wait, no. Oh, it says success. Yeah, yeah but success. The, the flat check. Well, but the flat but check the shouldn't flat... be rerolled. Yeah, yeah, the flat check shouldn't be. Re yeah, I'll allow that. I'll allow that. So the creature takes a minus two circumstance penalty to damage on the triggering strike and all strikes against you. Ooh. Oh, all oh, strikes against Oh, the that's end, pretty cool. the beginning of its next turn. Ooh, the penalty gets crazy good. Okay. Yeah. Well, it still, it still hits, but let's see how much damage they can do. I only do four damage. Yay. Whoosh, as you get scratched, you think to yourself, it's lucky. You're lucky you didn't try to fight you. Adasha. It is your turn. Uh, awesome. <laughs> so as this thing like popped out and <laughs> it looked like a flashbang, Adasha averts her eyes. Yeah, I, I, I avert my eyes, right? Since I'm unaffected. Yeah, you got a critical success. Sweet. So I, my swords aren't drawn out yet, but I'll use one action to stride, one action to uh, draw my bastard sword, and uh, one action to strike. And I should have targeted. Uh, whoops. That's okay though. See, even people who know Foundry like the back of their hand are gonna mess up targeting. It's okay. <laughs> it's so it's so it's so it's wonky, so, wonky, man. It's so wonky. It's don't worry about it. Alright, but does a twenty one hit? Oh yeah, that's true. I guess I could just like do the math. Let's see, does a twenty one hit? Narrowly. Narrowly, yes. Then we'll do the damage here. Nice. 11 points. Mm. Yeah. Ouch. And then Gem. I will end my turn. Nice. The amazing fraud, you are blinded. I thought it would be Aiden's turn, no? Is it? Yes, my bad, my bad. Yeah. Um, I think I want to use this Divine Lance spell that I have. I think that one's an attack. Yes. You are okay. dazzled. So let me describe what dazzled is, because you I realized you succeeded but you didn't critically succeed. So oh. dazzled, you have all these things in your eyes. Um Okay. And so whenever you target someone, you have to roll a twenty sided die before you attack. Just a flat D twenty and you have to beat a five. If you don't beat a five, you lose your actions. But if you do beat a five, you're able to target and then roll the attack. Okay, roll. so I just like click the d20 in the, mm -hmm. like that? Yep. Okay. Okay, so I click on my character mm -hmm. and then I hit T and I click on the thing I'm trying you to hit. hit. Is that correct? as you hover over it. Oh, okay. Hover over it one more time. Yeah, we got that green dot on there. Okay, and then, and then I hit the cast button beside my spell. Hell yeah. And That's then, a oh, it automatically rolled your flat check anyway. You got a 19. And then yeah. you're going to click oh, the okay. attack button in the chat. And roll like that. Yes. I think so I missed. missed. You missed by one. Wow, 19 missed? Holy cow. Mm -hmm. Unfortunate. 
close but no cigar. But you did really well on learning the UI of Foundry. <laughs> that was yes, I, my conclusion on Foundry is I still absolutely hate it and Roll20 is superior. <laughs> just give it time, just give it time. <laughs> okay. Um, you have one more action left. What can I do with that? Something you could do. Uh, do you have a shield? Yes. No. Raise your shield. Do I up. have a shield? I don't know if you picked a shield. I, I don't know. You Did can... you give me a shield? Because mm, I figured you would be doing two-handed great axe stuff. You can move up okay. to your speed. I um... have a reaction that says shield block, but I don't have a shield. Is that different? That's odd. Yeah. Okay. We should, we should probably give her a shield, no? It's shield? fine. No, I have a great axe. Isn't that two hands? Yeah. Don't you need yeah. two hands for a great axe? True. Yeah. Well, something Wait, that... I have a crossbow. Can I shoot my crossbow? You could draw your crossbow. Oh, okay. <laughs> drawing you guys were just kind of shooting? like... Yeah, it would just be drawing. It's that three action economy. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. So I'll do that everyone. then. I don't know what that does, but okay. Yeah, that actually just puts it in your hand, and then you're ready for the next turn. I'm, I always just say you always have a crossbow loaded. Let me find the reload button for you, and I'll reload for you. This is also... Uh, it's a thing. It's, it's a thing I have to reload my crossbow? Don't worry about it. Okay. It. You're good. Frog! All right. You're muted. Oh, I'm blind. I can't see anything. Yeah. Uh, how much of the thing did Fraud actually see? Nothing? Just like he just got hit with light but he doesn't know what the hell it is? Like, what are I even attacking is what I want to know. Um, you have to do a seek action yeah. to see, like, where are you going? Seek action. Okay, I Fraud's not even gonna bother. It, all he yeah, does is got hit with a bright light and he's got a trap behind him. So he's like, we'll... oh. Yeah. We got it. Light everywhere. Hello. Who's there? What's up, someone? We're friends. Did you see us help those little halfling, poor halfling, depressing halfling people behind us? Hello? Then I yell at him. I yell at him. It's not a friend. It's a, it's a, it's a flashing frog. <laughs> oh, the flashing frog. Oh. Yeah. Where, where is it? Just sound it out. Where? Where? Where should I be looking? <coughs> Broad, I, broad upon hearing it says a flashy frog, he's drawn his uh, short sword. So that's one action. It would be right in front of me? Can you hear me? <laughs> yes, I, I can hear you. Of course, I mean, we're having a conversation. Of course I can don't, hear you. Don't. I don't know where, where anything is. Don't worry, Frog. We, we've got it. Okay, I'm just gonna stand right here because I'm pretty sure there's a massive trap in front, but right next to me. Yes, <laughs> don't, don't move. Don't move. Don't. I wasn't planning on it. Frog's gonna take a ready action to like, uh, like he's reaching out in front of him, like to see if there's anything in front of him, but he's not like actually swinging it because he's apprehensive that he's gonna like hit somebody he knows. For sure. Do you, so we can do that with two actions, and then you say, wait, is it an action to ready an action for a reaction? Ready uh, is two actions. Two actions. So you have one more action left. So do you mind if I backseat suggest something? Go for it. You want to use a door. Uh, you have a high charisma. A demoralize would be useful. I mean, I don't know what languages this speaks, and you don't either. But it's it's always a good like third action. In my opinion. I, I I would, but I want to like role play it a little bit. Like, okay. why would right. Frode Fro wouldn't be demoralizing a monster? That's not the first thing you yeah. would do. If you can't even see it, you just got hit with the light. <laughs> you don't even know what you're going after. So he's probably just gonna pull a sword and wait. You know what? I appreciate that. You get a hero point. I appreciate cool. the role playing. I appreciate it. All right, so that ends your turn. Yes, it ends my turn. Sorry. All right, no worries. All right, Kiki. Okay, so Kiki's first action is to exploit vulnerability on this creature. Hmm. So oh, so it looks like I'm good. And then she is going to to a Luke Skywalker in a tree branch nearby. It, she reaches out to it and telekinetically it goes smashing into this creature. And oh, there we go. Okay. 
Okay, she. She's so close. Ah. Ooh. Oh well. She that is should not be damsel. I don't know why that's on. What's up? She succeeded. I don't know why it's saying that she's dazzled. Because um, if you succeeded, it's dazzled. It's dazzled. Oh. Um, if you failed, it's blinded. All right, that is her three actions. I need to find an item. So I have a. I don't know why it's not having an amulet. I don't know what's going on with that. Before the... With my amulet? Yeah. What, what about it? It should be. I got it under. <laughs> it's under uh, actions. Yeah, but I have like a specific module to deal with that. Oh. So it has to be like okay. a specific. I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Um. So that's your turn, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rostalan. Oh, dear. Um. So Rostalan is going to. Um. Did he get enough of a vibe of this thing between the split second before it flashed and the other clues and his scent to be able to make a recall knowledge? Sure. Okay. Especially um, with that with that scent. I'm going oh. to then uh, yeah. expeditious inspection to get one for free action. Uh and I will just do that. Hey, by the way, Messi, on that exploit vulnerability, if there's if this creature has a weakness, you should tell me. Yes. It does not. But I will give you um, its immunities uh, blinded and light. It's immune to being blinded and light. Um, it, I'm sorry, it's blinded in the light? It's immune to blinded and light. Oh. Okay. Um, Rastalon, you think rubbing peanut butter on it will help? All right. Um, in that case, I shall um, draw my my short sword, even though it's already drawn on my thing. Um, I shall um, gosh, I guess I will attempt to strike because I have to be able to see it to use devise a stratagem it actually says creature you mm. can see which mm. is Sag so I will attempt to strike oh okay that works how about that wow that's pretty good yeah wow okay yeah, for, short key blind, it's pretty good it's the sniffer yeah, and, and, then, you and you maxed your damage too. Wow. I shall uh, move away, and then one to draw, one to stab, one to move. That's me. Something to note: differences between Pathfinder and Dungeons and Dragons is that not everyone has an attack of opportunity. No, but some people do. Magic bubble goes. Oh no, a reaction. I have trained her well. This creature is. You know what? Twiny, I want to see you sweat. What are you talking about? I want I to hear you sweat again. Uh, uh, oh boy. Ooh! You get bitten and it crunches through whatever armor you're wearing, dealing. 16 points of damage. Oh my god. You now know oh, how boy. the donkey feels. Oh. This oh, creature I'm... goes... What was that? Okay, when when that happens, um, Tiki use, use her reaction with her amulet and prevent three points of that damage. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Did she see this happen? Yeah, she's just dazzled. Oh, she's, just, she's just dazzled. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put the. Ooh, I heard him meow. I'm gonna put that. Yeah, here. Because he's being demanding. 
I'm gonna put the three ba uh, damage. Uh, I'm gonna heal that on Adasha, and then the blind helm is gonna <laughs> and then run away. You know what? I'm going to. <laughs> it tries to jump into a tree, but kind of like and falls on its back on the ground so it's not <laughs> <laughs> oh it's prone it's, it's gotta prone. be prone. It's, it's, it's gotta be looking pretty bad now it's pretty bad yeah it's, it's uh, bloody this is actually that's excellent I'm gonna go ahead and rage <laughs> let's see if I can't apply the effect here Oh, there it is! Whoa! Nice. Wow. Uh, I'm gonna stride this this away, being careful not to trigger whatever trap is in front of Frode, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and attack, make one strike against it. What plus do you get for it being on the ground? Uh, I believe it's just flat-footed. Or off guard, sorry, off, off guard. guard. So plus oh my god, two. we're gonna get sued by wizard. It's the Pinkerton agent. Right. Thing. Hey, there you go. There we go. Are you with a hero point, I got there. Okay, roll Oof. Okay, damage, come on. Why is it automatically okay well for future reference, I don't think the I don't think it's gonna be acid damage, it's gonna be fire damage. Because oh, okay. as I rage, a sort of black fire just covers my my sword. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think I chose the wrong dragon because I don't think it was filled in the. It, I think it was a path holder bug because I wasn't getting anyone's dragon choices. But damn, fourteen. That will be my turn. Ooh, it's got to. It's bloodied. Well, wait a minute. I thought you mo you strode and you took one strike. Rage. And rage is an action. No, oh, rage is an action. Oh, okay. Aiden, you're no longer dazzled. Um. You can see. <laughs> yes. You have a. You had okay, your crossbow so like, out. I did. Yeah, I'm just more. Um, I'm gonna. I'm just trying to figure out what all these spells actually do. Mm -hmm. Um. Can I wander over here? Oh yeah. That's an action, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um. So either I can heal Adasha. Or I can make Adasha's weapon do big Echo. damage. Yeah. What do you want? Um, I took a lot of damage earlier. I, I, I would appreciate the yeah. I would appreciate the heal. Okay. So the cool thing about heal in this game is that you can put more actions into the your heal to make it do different things. So a one action heal has a range of touch. So you can yeah. use only one action right now to heal and then use another action to attack. Or if they're further away from you, you can use two actions to heal from 30 feet away and increase the hit points restored by eight. If you've used okay. three actions, you can heal everything within a 30 foot emanation, but it targets all it creatures. In, that including also the hits, monster. Yeah, that also hits friendlies. Or enemies. <laughs> um, I'm going to use one action. Hell yeah. And then I can use my other action to cast Guidance on a Dasha? You sure can. Well, you, okay. You're going to do, gonna do I, that? I'll tell you, you. Oh, thank you. If you only have a certain number of heal spells, then it's, it's way more effective to do the two action version. I got four. Yeah. Heal spells. She's That's got a, a lot. She's got okay. a lot. I yeah, picked she's... like the heal cleric one. Bam. Wow, thank you so much. There you go. Oh. I get to really kill this thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just yeah. hit it real hard. I don't think it's going to get around to your turn again. It's pretty. You chopped it up pretty good. We'll see. Well, we'll I don't see. Know. Mm -hmm. It's pretty I good. Can see, I can see correct. You can see now. The blindness oh. is gone. You can see clearly now. 
Oh, I can see everything. What's going on over there? Oh, Jesus! And he looks over and he sees like the dead or the frog lying prone. Uh, it's looking awfully bloody. And he's also looking at the trap that's precariously right next to him. Jesus, uh, is that what you call this monster? Oh. Did, yeah, it's, it's another friend of mine. Don't worry about it. He's uh, friends with me and Geralt of Rivia. We used to party all the time when I was uh, back in my university days. But anyway, anyway, uh, he looks over. What? This looks like y'all are going to be doing a good job over there. Is there anything I can do to help? I do. Shut up. Uh, perhaps you can help out help out Rost? He looks a bit, a bit dazzled. More dazzled than usual. <laughs> you, see, you look over to Rost and he... I'm imagining you on all fours just sniffing. <laughs> with, with your, like, sword out, like... A sword that is freshly bloody. Yeah. <laughs> Rod, Rod looks over and sees that. Rod looks over and sees that. Ross looks fine to me. <laughs> I, I haven't used a sword in my life. Maybe, maybe it's the thing is hungry. Have we tried feeding it and offering it food? And he starts reaching in, like I guess his quick draw satchel that he might have it inside. Pull out like some scraps of food. Uh, hey, try we, feeding it. He throws we, it at we, the monster. <laughs> We we fed it Adasha already. <laughs> there is a big chunk of me like bleeding out already. <laughs> well, actually, not anymore after the heal. Which, thank you. Once again. I, I did you only two, but it's better than none. It's better than nothing. Yeah, that why don't y'all try? Hmm? Oh, go ahead. I was to say, why why don't y'all try dragging it into the pit? It's a pit, right? I see this trap <laughs> in front of me, right? Um... Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, ugh, and I'm trying to walk around it, I guess, the best way I can. I'm taking a move action to the west. I'm taking another move action to the south. I'm just going to keep doing this. Like, that's my one move. I want to get close enough to where I can, like, get on the other side of the thing. Uh, I guess I can take another move action, right? A dash? Well, oh, no, you take a stride and you can move up to your, your speed as one action. Right, right. Okay, so first try is one action. I'm taking over here. Second action, uh, yeah, yeah, I had the food out. And I guess the third action is just me running my mouth, right? Is that how it works? That sounds right. about right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, it's my turn. Kiki. Okay. Uh, Kiki is going to do her telekinetic spell again. I... Oh, it's still... Is that still targeted from last time? I guess it is. Uh, and let's see if she can get a better result. Let's try a slashing this time. You're not dazzled. Oh, there you go. Here we go. Damage. Okay. Ooh, let's see. Oh, so close. All right. And then she, she'll draw out a... a throwing knife, and that's the end of her turn. Ross Salon. Uh, or dazzled member of the party right now. But your scent is guiding you true! Well, he's out of range, or the thing is out of range. So I no longer have a good track on its its scent. Um, I'm just going to, um, I believe this is Kiki standing next to me, so yes. I think I'm just going to um, hold my ground here for a moment. Uh, if safe. you don't mind, I need I need just just a moment. This appears to be some very bright colors in my eyes, and uh, hopefully I can get that taken care of without too much trouble. Um, and I'm going to just um, ready an action to stab any bad guys that come hmm. near me within my stabbing range. No. Uh, I do not believe so. so no. I think someone can treat afflictions, right? Yeah, yeah, that's a medicine check. I do have medicine trained, but I don't have a, a kit. Mm. Oh, I do. Oh, well. <laughs> or you can let me do it. But that I... takes 10 minutes. That takes oh, 10 that minutes. Takes... Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah, unless you have the feet. Oh, the battle. Yeah, battle medicine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is such a good feat. It's yeah, but only once a day. 
Yeah, but if you get Doctor's Visitation, oh my god, it's so good. Yeah. The Blind Helm is going, the Blind Hind is going to stand up and go, oh, oh, oh. What was that? Murloc. <laughs> Does that? It's a Murloc. It's a Murloc. Does Adasha have an attack of opportunity? Oh, we're level no. one. Uh, we have, we have, no. there's no such thing. No, she's a barbarian. Fighters get it, but okay. Yeah, get it level one? don't get it till six, I think. Fighters get it at one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I did not know that. Fighters are insane. The fighters are crazy good in this game. Like, yeah, it's yeah. it's amazing coming from when you come from D and D. It's like fighters and Pathfinder just destroy things. Yeah. If if anyone who's joining the Pathfinder Society in chat right now, I highly suggest you make a fighter. <laughs> Because be, <laughs> it's so much better than in D and D because you have like they maneuvers are... and they're just badass. Yeah. You will hit and kill everything that you get your hands and you on. Have all this cool shit you could do, and each weapon has like different stats. Oh, I, fighters are fucking cool. You can heal yourself. And you're the only armor. class to get attack of opportunity at level one. You can <sighs> kill yourself. Was... Get him, Adasha. All right. Damn, he's kind of far. Uh, well, two strides and you got half full of strike. traps. Two strides and a strike. I will keep in mind the careful of traps thing. So I'll, I'll stride twice. Going here. I didn't trigger anything? Low. No. Alright, awesome. Then I will go ahead and target. If only. Come on, you got it. <laughs> I'll use my last hero point. <laughs> well, you have a plus one also from guidance. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I, mean, I did not oh, add that. So it's a twelve. Yeah, but you roll four, so you know. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll re-roll. <laughs> yes. There we go. There you go. There exactly. Go. <laughs> there job. we go. And then we'll go ahead and roll damage here. Oh. Yeah, How that... do you do it? Uh, so like as he's like hopping through the hair, through the air, he just hops into my sword. <laughs> I'll let the fire do. I'll let the fire uh do uh, do the do the damage. Absolutely, yeah. and he has is, roasted whatever the fuck this is. Is that frog legs I smell? As as we use as we say at Texas A and M, gig him, gig him, gig him. <laughs> uh, and uh, it. I don't think you'd want to eat this, but no, I, I toss the, using the sword, I toss the, the frog corpse over to, as far as I can, with, to the compatriots. There you go. Mm, Kiki, Kiki's gonna go study it and add a few notes to her knowledge. Da 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 da! You guys killed the thing that the halflings were harried by. Yes. Okay. Very nice. Wait, can we? Very, very there... efficient oh. team there. Battle's well, over. We won. Is that the end of it? We, yeah, we seeing... did. Oh, okay. we have to... Well, that. Do you, do you need more healing? Do we? It... Yes. That... Do you need me to do a medicine check? So the good thing, um, another difference between Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder is that the medicine skill is actually very useful. So you can actually yeah. heal hit points in and out of battle, depending on what feats you have, using medicine skills, and that allows you to save your spell slots more. Oh. So you're really good for like, I'm in the middle of a fight, emergency ambulance healing, whereas like after fight, post, like post-session care stuff is good for the medicine skill with someone with a healer skill. Yeah, the, the key is it takes 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. It takes a really long time. Yeah, but, but you can like, just keep doing it. And um, Somebody mentioned treat affliction. Do we need that? or we're... I, well, think, I think Ross hour, is looking kind of... Yeah, after an Ross? hour it should go away, but I guess your characters don't know that. I mean, I could... Try to treat affliction. I've never done that. I have to look it up. Oh my, we're doing new things, new things on the channel, and we're always doing new things on the channel. So make sure you like, follow, and subscribe, Mama. 
<laughs> Dude, the segues come out of nowhere. <laughs> I love it. I gotta keep. I gotta. I gotta keep the brand active. I gotta keep the audience engaged. Make sure that you know, get them hyped to join in. It's mostly other people that we'll probably be playing Pathfinder with. So, <laughs> shout out to Topher, Catboy, <laughs> Subscribe Sister, Souls for Snakes. Magic bubbles. He's, he's really Practic good at that. Basically, everyone who was giving you like customer support when I was at work. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't see a treat affliction. I've got treat disease, treat poison, and treat wounds. I, thought, I was thinking, oh, maybe it's treat disease, or I'm thinking of something else. I think I'm thinking of something else in the medics yeah. class. My bad. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm not perfect. Well, I can go ahead and do a, a medicine check on um, mm -hmm. yeah. Or like, well, you can even use the treat wounds basic action. <laughs> well, but then you roll. You, well, in my case, I roll nature for that. Oh yeah, it will do a pop up, and it'll allow you to toggle everything you need, and make sure you have the person you're healing targeted. I just love oh, these yeah, basic actions and the. It's pretty good. I love them. Uh, hey, Aiden, is there nothing you could do for the blind? Uh... Uh, that's a good question. Is there something I can do for the blindness? For the blindness, I'm looking at your spells, and it doesn't seem like you have anything to remove, like blindness or like dazzled condition. But I think clerics, you can change your spell list every day. Yeah. So if you, and oh. blindness and dazzled are really common conditions alongside like frightened. So next game, you can always like pray to your god and get like different spells that could cure it if you think it's gonna pop up, if you have a feeling. But I don't think you have anything right now. I don't. I don't, I don't even know how I did the magic that I did do. You did, it, you did it well. You did oh. it very quickly. Which is rare for a messy beat stream. No, I'm saying Aiden has no fucking clue oh, okay. what he did or how he did it. Oh. This okay, is was... very new to him. <laughs> uh, if, if I may ask Aiden, how, how new are you at this to this whole adventuring uh, I guess Occupation is the right word. This is my first job. <laughs> well, congratulations. You gotta fool uh, us. <laughs> I'm absolutely. I mean, you, you, I did, done, you did really good out there. I done helping out around town. Um, you know, uh, getting raccoons out of people's attics and stuff. Oh, raccoons, they're dreadful. They're, they're gigantic, horrible creatures. They are. They are raccoons. Yes, have you met them? They're humongous. Ugh. They, they get quite, quite ornery. They do not like to be manhandled. Ornery. Oh, are they like uh, small, like, small, like, mice or something? No, they're quite a bit larger than a mouse. It's like, like this big. That's kind of, that's, huh? More like this big, but he's making the same, like, <laughs> amount of size as Aiden, just smaller arms. <laughs> and these end up in your house? Well, yeah, they uh, just, they, sometimes. They scavenge for scraps, yeah. if, looking if for anything they can find. your house properly, they can get in, and then they build yeah. a nest, and then they have babies, They're and they like... eat your insulation. <laughs> Fraud, you are rolling a perception check. And then check the chat, Kiki, because I did the medicine check. Did you, yeah, because I'm not being able to do the nature as medicine oh, check. So. Yeah, I was able to roll nature for you. Um, okay. You rolled a 10. Did you want to use a hero point to reroll? Sure, why not? I mean. Well. Oh, well. <laughs> so at least it's not a critical fail. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can always use the healing spells then. 
Mm -hmm. And then yeah, if we're gonna rest for the night anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, I can. I can do that. Yeah, do the healing spell. Um, but as now, you, now you can go ahead and do that one d eight plus eight version. Mm -hmm, the two action because we have yeah. all the time in the world. But fraud, you were doing something. I saw that perception check. Sure, as Fra as everyone's talking about healing, Fraud's like still wondering who, why the hell there's a trap in the middle of the road because sir, sure as hell the frog didn't set the trap, so he's kind of like looking around maybe Did at the trap. Did I do that uh, right? Mm -hmm. Fraud would be looking at the trap. He's looking at the surroundings, wondering if there's anything suspicious about the area. It's like, hey, uh, guys, that guys, that's all, cool. that's all fine and good, but who put this trap here? I'm sure that idiot yeah. frog beast didn't lay out these spikes. So Morgan, you had to do the two action version. Mm -hmm. The one with the two heal oh, versus yeah. living with two action. Because you can use this to attack undead also. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I they did take... the one that had three because I thought if it uh, was three, that it, says, meant it would be yeah. better. No, but that's everyone, but only a D8. Yeah. Oh. It's counterintuitive. I get. I. I see. Yeah, it is a little bit. Fun. Yeah. I just, I, cause like if I cast like cure wounds in D and D, if it's a bigger, yeah, yeah, no, it has bigger number. <laughs> yeah. No, it makes sense. The the heal two actions is the most healing by the numbers. Like okay, for, for a single get, target. But okay. yeah, can I click that one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and ignore the other one, or do I have to cast it a third time? No, I got you. There okay. you go. See. But um, to answer fraud, you look at the Blindheim's um, hands, and they're full and covered with mud and grass. Maybe it was a little more intelligent than you gave it credit for. And you think, maybe this hole would go down into the underground tunnels, where its home is, where its family. And family mm. is what's really that matters, at least in those plays that you saw. <laughs> Are you saying that this? I'm thinking to myself, did this monster have a family? Did we just murder a hardworking dad who's just trying to get some food for his son and wife? Yes, uh, but you're the food. Right. That's what I'm thinking. That's my internal monologue, right? Now. He's just looking down. As you see, he's looking down in the you hole. Imagine, kind of like... You imagine that guy coming home with like a hat and like a yeah. briefcase, and the kids yeah. look at him and like flash it's their blinders out at him, like, yeah. Father, Papa. And then yeah. you, you bring us in your imagination. An eye and an arm. <laughs> father, Father, honey, I made your favorite. What is that? Donkey. Without. <laughs> Without saying anything, Frog goes over to this frog body, if he can. Like, while everyone's talking about healing and shit, he's dragging over the body, and he's very respectfully throwing it into the hole. Like you would if you were burying a dead body. Because he has these thoughts in his head. Oh, well, you, you guys must really... You guys must really praise these frogs. I... Yeah. could have had a family, okay? <laughs> that is surprisingly sentimental, Frog. Leave me alone, it Frog just the tear that goes down Frog's eyes as he gets to figuring this frog's family. I, Peering you, down okay, into the frog? hole, do we see anything? No, just a hole. It spikes I at the bottom. Smell anything? I I think it's I think it's time to go ahead and start setting up camp because I'm sure I I don't think this is much. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is just what bandits left, and I mean. Maybe we should put a giant... Maybe we should block no. off the area with the big hole. So that other people don't fall into this thing in the middle of the night. Good idea. Is there, like, a stick? Can I, can I find a stick? Or a log. Oh, yeah, there's log. sticks everywhere. Logs. Um, oh, yeah. Aiden wants to, like, find a stick and then, like, tie something to the stick, like a little flag marker. Mm -hmm. And put that by the hole. <laughs> Hell yeah. We could... I could chop down a... I could attempt to chop down a tree and just, you know. That seems excessive. We we could just. I'm too tired for that. Kind of stick. <laughs> Make a little flag. Some cool. people will be like, "Hey, what's that flag marking?" And then they come check it out and they find a hole. Oh, okay. You see, the halflings are finally got Chomper up to their little wagon. They're like, "Oh, hey, oh, that's that what it is? Oh, where was the ghost? Yeah, where was the ghost?" What, there was what? no ghost. It was. There's your uh, ghost. 
<laughs> bright creature of some sort. So, okay. Oh, let's keep going. What is that flag? Oh, we gotta stop. Look, it's a they hole. Fall. <laughs> they fall <laughs> the hole. No, oh, oh, no, 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 no. We're not gonna fall in the hole. We saw the flag. Uh. You guys are good citizens. We'll remember this. <laughs> Do you and Absalom? <laughs> They're still covered in mud and they just stare at you like, ha, I will remember this. It's a little creepy though. <laughs> to be continued. Oh, dear. <laughs> no. All right, so you guys set up camp. We're going to wrap this up because this is just a bounty. This is an, a true one shot. Oh my God. I did it. I broke the curse. Because you guys finished the rest of the trip to Absalom without incident. And it's easy no. to find Holfine Manor to deliver the trophy fish. I want everyone to do a perception check, though. I can I see no again. <laughs> I can find. You can see again. Everyone can see again. Everyone roll a perception check. Rastalon. That catfolk I... is a fucking shuni. <laughs> I knew it. Aiden, you kind of notice that, like. I don't know, that. The tail is weird for a catfolk. Something smells off. Aiden's not going to say anything because that would be rude. Mm -hmm. Adasha, you also notice some things. Oh, I don't know social cues. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to mention it and start and start maybe apologizing for for exposing this truth. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? My name's Corin Holfein. I'm sure the good sir merely has a pet dog. Isn't that right, sir? I'm a catfolk. I'm not a shuni. Look at me. Uh... I, can br I can breathe so well. <laughs> See? I, I cannot... <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna lean up. Is this the part where I just say yes and just move on? Yes. Uh... Uh, this is the part where you apologize. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And uh, yeah, yes, you just reminded me of a another animal I have at an home. animal. I'm rolling to see if he's lying. <laughs> I was <laughs> lying to bring it full circle from the beginning. Is he lying? Uh, I don't know. Let's see about this lie roll. <laughs> oh no, it's a I plus think... zero. <laughs> it's a plus zero. Ooh, full circle. I'm gonna what do I have to roll? Discord. Oh, you don't. It's just against your perception okay. DC, your passive perception. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay, wait a minute. We're not friends on Discord. Oh That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh. 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 Let's see. Anyways, uh, it was it was nice. It was nice doing this small trip with you with you fine folk. Uh, yes, and how fortunate that we were all part of the society. Yes. Hopefully I will see you all around sometime on some future uh, society adventure. Yes. Oh, let's hope so. Yes. Well, don't you have something for me? Um. Oh, I got I got your, your, your fish. Oh, yes. My favorite thing in the world. Fish. Because you are cat folk. Yes. With a pet dog. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna put it up here as he eye. tries to. Put I don't it... know if Aiden or Adasha has the fish, but we hand Which... it over, I guess. Thank you. You each get four gold as promised, and I heard from Miro and well, I don't remember that freak's name. That other halfling freak, Cambit, that you <laughs> slayed a monster on the way here and put a flag down on this hole to ensure that people safely <laughs> go to Absalom. I, I must say, but it, it's it's primarily Aiden's, Aiden's. Uh, you know, she she uh, he's the one that that put that down. Yes, from what I recall, uh, because um, people just walk right into it. Otherwise, 
and from what I recall, uh, our good friend Adasha here did most of the killing, although I do believe that I put up a fair fight. I'm not sure what part of the creature that I hit, but I could tell it was a very good hit. <laughs> Adasha look, looks back at Rost. I just... Is this another... Yes. <laughs> as, I, as I go back to... <laughs> this is Aristocat. <laughs> Indeed. Right? Whatever. Uh, <laughs> whatever you say, I'm just really happy with my trophy. And you guys, with that, you finished your first Pathfinder bounty. Yay. Absolutely. That was cool. Thanks. Yeah. yeah. Be sure. A lot of fun. I'm glad. I'm glad. I was so nervous. I was like, oh my gosh, this is just start something new. No, um, it was good. Thank you, Messi. Uh, of course. That was fun. Yes, I thank you. I will send out the chronicle for the Pathfinder Society. So you'll use that to upload to your... Indiv I don't know if I upload it or you guys upload it. I'm going to figure that out and I'll let you know. Let us know. And yeah. then that will be tracked. So you can take the Pathfinder Society to any of the Pathfinder Society adventures and even ones that aren't hosted by me. Um, and you can do that and carry this character to whatever Pathfinder uh, Society campaign. Um, so I'll be sure to update that. Um, we may do another session on Monday, next Monday, or mm -hmm. I might have a surprise one on Saturday, depending on vibes. So so keep your nope. eyes peeled okay. uh, who knows so just keep your eyes peeled on the discord and things pop up um and make sure you guys watch on thursday as we play our abomination vaults campaign which also takes place in otari um i am a mean lizard gunslinger in that um That's a fun one. yeah i know right it's all from yeah. the waste um yeah. but uh does anyone have anything they want to plug while we're here uh, you can check out most of the gang on Wednesdays at the Gallon Goblin stream. Uh, that's the, Very the Very yeah. Important. That's what brought Messi's us. Messi's on it. Uh, Morgan's there. Mike is there. Glenn's there. For Blood on the Clock Tower. Yeah. yeah. Where we break up all our friendships. Where we all lie to each other. <laughs> Morgan <laughs> trying to tell me she's the artist. <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's a lot of. Fun. We got to team up last time. That's Micah. true. We did. Yeah. I got I, to I boom let daddy. you blow up the town. You did. It was delightful. Anyone else got things to plug before I end the stream? No. All right. Well, until until next time. Oh, you guys don't know this. We have a hand symbol that we do. Um, it's the messy hand symbol. Symbol. It's <laughs> two in the feet. One in the st someone came uh, up, someone else came up with it. So until next time, stay messy. Uh, bye. <laughs> All right.